In this walkthrough, I will show you how to place your camera and iPad into the hard shell. The first step is to set up the tripod and place the folder booth on it. Unlock the combination lock and open up the back. Now you want to put the iPad in. The way you do this is by first unscrewing the white thumb screws. The first one, then the second. Now pull back the black plastic holder. Now take your iPad. Make sure that the power button is in the top right corner. Now slide your iPad in. All the screws in this area are made of plastic. So just in case your iPad touches them, they won't leave a scratch. Now put the thumb screws back on. You don't have to tighten them too hard. Just make sure that they are snug. You should see that the power button is still accessible. Place your camera on the mount. Use the thumb screw to keep it in place. This mount is already in the proper position for my camera. You would adjust it for your camera by using the colored thumb screws. The blue thumb screw moves the camera up and down. The red thumb screw moves the camera left and right. And the green thumb screws move the camera forward and back. Now you want to plug in the sync cable. The round end of the connector plugs into the controller board. The other end of the connector plugs into the camera. Now turn on the router by sliding the power switch to on. The router has a built-in battery that lasts for 3 hours. I could put an additional 4 AA batteries for another 5 hours of runtime, which would get me 8 hours total. Next, turn on your camera and flash. Turn on the controller board by holding down the on switch for a few seconds. You know it's on when the blue LEDs start flashing. Now we want to turn on the iPad and launch the app. Push the iPad's power button to wake it up. Spin the booth around, slide to unlock, and launch the Shutter Snitch app. Create a collection, give it a name, I just stuck with the default name. From here, I like to go into limited mode. Type in the password that you picked when you installed the app. Okay, so at this point everything is set up. What you want to do now is take a test picture. Take off the landscape. Touch the button. Now the first picture will take extra time to appear. Okay, there it is. You can see that there's a border around the picture. That means that the camera is a bit too far back. To eliminate the frame, you want to move the camera a bit closer. I'm going to zoom the lens a little bit, which will get me the same effect. Take another test shot. As you can see, the second picture loads up much faster. People using the photo booth, such as at a wedding for example, would be able to scroll through all the pictures. They could also do stuff like pinch and zoom, but since you put the app in limited mode, they can't delete anything, and if they try to exit, it's just going to ask them for the password. It also doesn't matter which picture they are looking at. Let's say I go back to the first picture. When we take a new picture, it will display the new picture always. Now that you confirm that everything is working, you want to secure the booth in place. Spin it so it faces forward and secure the set screw at the bottom. Close the back. Try spinning the booth to see if it moves around. It spins for me, so I'm going to open the back, but this time hold the door so that the booth sits centered on the pole. This makes it easier to tighten the set screw the rest of the way. I try moving the booth again, and this time it's solid and it won't rotate. And you're finished.